Welcome to Brainstorm Sessions Part 2. We're going to do a, a little bit of a faster format. We had, uh, you know, our first time we were trying to get our, our feet under us. So, uh, Brian, how did you do this week? And uh, yeah, cheers, by the way, brother. Did you, uh, did you gain any subscribers or, or anybody on Instagram? Uh, give us an overview of what the layout that we did last week, it, did it bear fruit for you? Yeah, so it, it did a little bit. I had a couple goals from last week, and it was to be consistent on two videos. I did one video, and I did one short. Um, and I'll tell you, my subs grew by nine. And again, my, my total channel, I'm only at 240 subscribers overall right now. Um, so it grew nine. And my goal was to hit Instagram hard. Um, I have 7,500 people that I'm following and I would build off of that the same way we've built some of this channel. Well, early on into it, I think last Tuesday when I added 200 people, I was no longer able to add people to Instagram. I couldn't follow back until last night. So they basically banned me for a week, no reasoning or anything. So I spent the week just posting a few things, liking and commenting on other people's stuff. And so right now my numbers, I picked up, I followed 20 more people as of, you know, today, but I'm about to hit it hard again. It, it impacted me by tying my hand. But my uh, short, it looked like um, when I was building a C10 cross member, it looked like that. I posted that. And between that and at the same time, um, uh, Johnny Clyde Eats is another channel. Uh, he gave us a shout out. And between the two, either the short or Johnny Clyde, I picked up my nine subscribers. That's awesome. Really, really good progress, man. I mean, it's only been a week. If we can, we can keep that yeah. going and growing, start multiplying that. That's, uh, now that's how we're going to grow this thing. Yep. I, I want to stay on the Instagram thing real quick because I changed up um, and I don't remember if I talked about it last week, but I changed up my uh, process a little bit. And instead of mass following folks that would be in a um, in someone's account, you know, that they would have liked to post, I would go to like a mid-level account and I would I mean, like examples would be Finnegan or Tony Angelo or Freiburger. I mean, those guys are just come to mind first. Right. So I would go into their account and the comments, like if if their comments had more than a hundred, if their post had more than a hundred comments, I would go in and I would just blind follow all those folks. And I kept track of it and I followed more than like 320 people or something crazy in a day. Okay. So last Thursday, I started doing that tracking it, right? I followed more than 320 accounts, 114 accounts followed me between Thursday and Friday. Every person that followed me got my message that I told everybody I did last week, and I picked up 18 subscribers Thursday, Friday, Saturday. So Man, it, that's good. it was a big day. So I'm just looking at my analytics here for last week. Like I picked up 35 subscribers last week. So that was a, a, a week in my world, right? You know? Oh, for sure. In, in anybody's world. I mean, well, not yeah. anybody, but. Us, us small guys, man, we're grinding out. That's that's yep. progress. Yep. And so I, I was doing the math and it, it kind of uh, inspired me to look also at my mountain bike channel. Um, so I started I started doing the same process on it, except I'm trying to keep it super localized right now to grow because I'd like to do a lot of collaborations this summer. Um, I live in Bentonville, Arkansas, which is like becoming the mountain bike capital of the world. So if I can collaborate with a lot of writers here, it'll help me grow quickly, right? So I focused, I hyper-focused on Bentonville mountain bikers, right? Uh, following them, and I followed 74 accounts in, I mean, probably the 30 minutes that my wife was in Hobby Lobby. 22 of those came back and I picked up two subscribers. Now, the, the reason I say it like that is I have literally not posted a new video on that channel in more than a year. Jeez. Yep. Well, so that's, that's a good, a really good case study though, too, for what we're trying yep. to, trying to create is taking something that you've established, but has been dormant for a long time and see yep. if you can get it to grow again. You know, it's kind of like that tree. You just, 
well, pour some water yeah. on it, it gets green again. <laughs> well, and then secondary to that, Eric at uh, 815 LSX swaps, uh, he said he sent 180 messages. 116 of those messages had no response, whether it was seen and not replied back. Uh, he said 41 of them actually typed back a response, you know, yeah, I'll follow, thanks, whatever. And then 25 messages uh, gave him a like or a thumbs up. So I thought that was really neat. He hasn't, he didn't give me the uh, number of subs that he's up, but we worked through that. So. Very cool, man. And again, yeah. and, and again I've, fought, I've done that for, geez, I don't know, 600 people before we got, you know, before I got yeah. banned. And, and the story is, um, no one sent me any hate mail. If someone does, yeah. I, I'll laugh it off. But I, I find so much more people interested in stuff that I do that we get into a conversation and, you know, people dig what I do. They'll follow me. If they don't, they won't even respond. Yeah. Oh, yeah, for sure. No, and, and I've, I've not taken your advice and gone your way. Uh, just because I'm lazy on Instagram, I, I need to get better at it. I'm learning how to do stuff, learning how to post stuff. Uh, well, I'm making a fire picture. So let me let me look at my numbers here. Uh, I had 254 followers last week at this time, and uh, I'm going to be on the Real New York's live stream here uh, mm -hmm. at five o'clock. Well, five o'clock my time, and uh, just from that, I gained a couple more this morning, but I'm at 283. So I gained 29 followers on Instagram, nine on Facebook, and eight eight subscribers on YouTube. And that was more me more focusing on, on content and stuff than it was me promoting myself. So that's where I stand. That's awesome. Yeah, so that's where, let me go ahead and uh, pull up our weekly goals here. Let me add this to the stream. Okay, so this is that little spreadsheet we made last week. Um, so let's see. You said you got banned. Uh, Black Seed, you said you got banned from your uh, IG for a while, so that kind of put a damper on it. But it looks yeah, like you got more than, more than 100 people that you reached out to. Yeah, absolutely. And I think the uh, – well, in, and I think I was still able to – send some messages and I just couldn't follow people back. So like if I was sending something out, think they could see me trying to follow them. I, I don't know. I was definitely banned there for a little bit. Um, Getting nine people. I didn't hit as many channels as I would have liked on YouTube. Uh, my numbers were only like 50. I fell off after a couple of days. I was trying to do I think 25 or 30 small to medium YouTube channels every every day. So I got to focus back on that and then uh, get two videos turned out this week. The shorts did work for me. I know you guys have had some different issues with shorts where you post one and you lose people. Yeah, that's me. Sure if that's it. <laughs> If I'm, I'm not sure why, you know, but all of my stuff is tailored towards P10 or OBS. Even though I'll lose people a little now and then, um, it's been positive on my first short. Yeah, uh, the shorts on mine, it's weird. They'll, like, be dormant for a day or two and then just a, a rocket ship for six or eight hours. And then it's back, you know, it's, I mean, literally some of them are just dead flat, like, four days of z showing it to zero people, which is strange to me. Like even my followers that are watching regular videos don't even see it. You know, maybe they were in that rocket ship, you know, to 750 views and then fall off. But I, I do get quite a bit of the uh, negative one subscriber on a, on shorts. I'll do that more than I add. Yeah, I've only done one and it, it didn't didn't go very far. But then again, I don't know enough about shorts to really make one that's going to skyrocket. Uh, I'm still learning, you know, what tags do I use? How do I I know I have to film it vertically now. Um, you know, but shorts are something I definitely want to research more on because I know you can get a lot of it's quick views, but you get somebody at least the traffic comes to your channel. Yeah, the the hardest part, like in, in my opinion, so I'm already posting a lot of that stuff to our TikTok. So if it's going to be on TikTok, it's just a simple move it over and I'll post the same video on YouTube. 
And so I keep thinking, okay, well, they'll see that. And the thing about the views is they're almost forced to view it because the way it rolls, it people just see it, see it, see it, see it. So it's obvious that YouTube is turning it off at some point. It's not showing it to anybody else. I don't know if it's when somebody leaves the channel when somebody gives a thumbs down. If somebody, I, I have no idea. It literally just goes. <laughs> like, yeah. Like, it's, uh, something. I bet it's something with the analytics in, uh, in mm -hmm. YouTube. Yeah. Like if three people in a row just fast and throw it to the next level, then they don't, you know, they're like, Oh, three people said no. Bye. So oh, yeah. it's, <laughs> Blows my mind. And I, to be honest, I truly don't care to learn that much about it because it doesn't pay me. You know, so like if I'm already making the video for TikTok, I'll put it on there, but I'm not going to dig deep. So I add our description, I add, you know, tags and all that kind of stuff like it's a regular video, but I have, I put it in a playlist on its own. And I, I don't, other than that, I'm not like going to try to figure out the shorts algorithm. So. Yeah, that's a good point for, for people who are monetized, but definitely for people who are not monetized, I would uh, highly suggest, oh, come on, somebody calling me during the middle, sorry guys. Uh, yeah, if you're not monetized, I would, I would highly suggest learning that formula just to get the traffic to your channel, you know what I mean? I think that would be a, a huge benefit for, for people trying to get their way up to a thousand and get their watch hours in. Yeah, and so, and even for me, it's, it's been a little tough setting down and editing videos a couple times a week. Um, I have some stuff from the other day to edit, but, you know, Narks and I are both working, you know, 40, 40, 50, 60 hours a week on our normal job. And then we put in, you know, 40 hours a week on the cars. Um, so for me, like a short, it's, it's quick enough where I can keep content rolling. And if it's bringing, you know, hell, if it's even one subscriber every time I post, then there's benefit uh, for me posting, I think. Um, and then once I get over that hump, strategy may change and it may be, you know, I got to I got to fix something else. I got to make sure I'm consistent on, you know, this truck gets built this day, this truck gets built this day and, and whatever, so forth. Yeah, and, and it's really it's really putting together a system or, or kind of like a formula um, for, for whether you're recording shorts or whether you're recording videos, it definitely takes, uh, some creative planning. And I actually have a big whiteboard that I keep next to me that I write everything down. That's my only way to stay focused and stay, uh, you know, going forward on my path is, is with the whiteboard. Yeah. Same, same here. I have, uh, I've won, um, with ideas for videos and again, it, you know, we think about it more of, like we're narcs was helping me the other day and we're recording just a ton of different stuff it's going to be harder than if i thought through, not necessarily scripted stuff but if i would have thought through and go okay here's my intro here's what i'm going to show here's my outro um i think that would help by the way i appreciate the intro you made for me it's it's great and then as you see i'm starting to elevate my camera to get these fluorescents out of the way um, yep. I can get the camera up a little higher and, you know, than the computer because I got to be right on it. But uh, that's I think that's helped the quality of my video a little bit between that. And, and now I have the intro and dropping the subscribe. And I, I'm sure I'll still be messing with that, adding to it and tweaking it. Some, but uh, just getting the overall um, cadence down of what it is, right? A little piece of the video, which is kind of five seconds to tell you what you're going to see, the intro and the meat of it, and then uh, the outro, which uh, no one will ever make to, but, you know. It's yeah. <laughs> no, that's uh, that's really, really good advice for people who are watching this, is uh, if you learn how to record it the way you're going to edit it, you will save yourself so much time. And then after you're done with what your main, I call it the meat and potatoes of the video is going to be, then do your B-roll afterwards and you can chop up the b-roll and put it anywhere you want inside of there however you want to transition it but if you do that you will save yourself editing time which as we know time is of the essence for for everybody yeah um i was watching a um like a behind the scenes video today of um boost rodeo and he when they hit a thousand subscribers edited a full video well then he went back in and edited 
and basically showed how the entire video was shot. It was really neat, and it really made me think a lot more in depth about what, uh, like, how I'm going to shoot for the future. For sure, and that's that's you know that's the stuff that the bigger guys know that we don't know. Yep, and that's well, where they that's where they got hey, it. You know? Boost Rodeo has 2,400 subscribers. Like he's not a huge channel, but he records and edits like he's a huge channel, and that's why he'll be he'll blow up. Um, and I don't know if I'm changing the subject. If I am, but t you can tell oh, me. Go ahead. But I, I'm going back through my uh, so my top playlist right now. My goal is to have a thousand video views a day, right? So my top playlist without shorts, because shorts can do it instantly, easily. Um, my top playlist is our LS Swap uh, Land Cruiser. And so I'm going back through all of those videos and like adding descriptions and adding tags and I'm gonna change the titles and things like that. Uh, it's hilarious to watch your old vid. Now, Brian won't have this problem, but you know we have almost 500 videos on our channel. So we've been recording diligently you know, for three and a half years and it started on an iPhone with no mic and that's the videos I'm in right now. Oh my gosh, y'all. I don't know why people watch that stuff. <laughs> it was horrible. You got to start somewhere though, man. You got to turn yeah. it on and go for it. And if you yeah. like doing it and you get comfortable behind the camera, that's when you're like, okay, I need to, I need to figure this yeah, out I mean, a little more. I need to upgrade. And that's, that's exactly what we've done, you know, and it'll be, it'll be interesting to see the next five years of evolution you know, how much better we'll get with editing, how much better we'll get with shooting. And, the, you know, for one, the camera quality, I went from a iPhone 5 to, you know, like a 8, a GoPro Hero 8 now. So, yeah, that's a, that's a big jump there. Yeah. And I, I think in the video I'm, I'm doing right now with the description, I, I literally, ha I think I remember having it leaned up against a, a bottle of water to get the shot so I could like sit across the, 20 feet away from the uh, phone and get the video. It was hilarious. Oh, I use, I've duct taped my phone to stuff. I've done some crazy things when I first was starting out to try and get, you know, that little shot that I wanted. Yep. Yep. It's it, so it's pretty funny. So um, if you are a small channel or a small number of videos, go back through, edit that stuff, look at your descriptions, look at your tags. You know, we're averaging about 500 views a day right now. And so, you know, you figure 500 a day, well, if I can turn that to a thousand, that's just one more video view per video I have. Like, that's got to be pretty easy to do with the, you know, stuff that people would be searching for. Well, yeah. And that's the thing is making it work with the al algorithm, actually putting a dynamic thumbnail on it. So people want to yep. click it because I know my first ones, I, I don't think I even knew what a thumbnail was. I just, oh, there's something that showed up. It like was just part of the video, the stock thing that comes up, so. Yep, yep. that's what this one is right now. And then, so uh, with that playlist, I went through and I created a thumbnail and like each, it would be like, it's Project LC is the playlist, but uh, it'd be like Project LC real big. And then it would say like episode one. And then in words you can't even read, it would be about what the thing was about. So it's, it's really pretty funny, the evolution that has happened. Oh yeah, for sure, man. Yeah, so looking through here, I, I had some stuff that I went through. I, I like to do a lot of research on all this stuff. And there were some really good videos that were shared with us on our uh, CarTubers group. Mm -hmm. and there was some stuff that I was able to pull out of that that I just kind of wanted to let people know about. Uh, one of them was, I wanted to say something because last week I said I was putting up the promotion for the uh, Brain Sessions video. And I used Google ads, which is the YouTube ads. I used Google ads to make an ad and I customized it and sent it to places I know because you can send it on a map in, of the United States, what states and you can even localize it down to a city. So I put it in like Colorado and basically all the way down through the Midwest and then over to California and Arizona. And I spent $20 on it and it yielded over 2000 views. That's awesome for 20 bucks. I'm like, okay, I can do that. And, and I actually, I think I'm going to end up getting some more subscribers from that mm -hmm. as the thing keeps growing. And then I did another one with a Facebook ad, uh, which was one of my last lives. And I got 160 for 20 bucks. That's 160 awesome. views for 20 bucks versus 2000 views through Google ads. Yeah. So 
just comparing the two, I don't think I'll be putting money into Facebook boost anymore. So, well, and the other side of that too, is like you get paid by YouTube, you know, you're monetized, like you're not monetized with Facebook. So like, in my opinion, I'm going to spend money where I can make money, you know, like, uh, it, I mean, it's my understanding that AdSense won't pay you on videos you've promoted, but I mean, there's, I, I got a whole bunch of other videos I can get people to watch if I just need to get them to the channel. Yes. Yes, for sure. The other, the other thing that I utilized when I posted um, that video and then the video I, I think I, yeah, I posted yesterday, I posted another USRL, uh, my unaware street racing, but I looked at the analytics. Um, I don't know, let me see if I can pull it up. But uh, I looked at the analytics on my channel and found out what time of day was the best time of day, sorry here, for me to post. Let me see if I can get back in there real quick because this is, this is critical information for anybody who is posting a video. I know people, some people just randomly, oh, I'm done with the video and they post it. Mm -hmm. Well, you need to look at, uh, let's see, is it under engagement? Overview, I'm trying to find it here. Sorry, guys. YouTube advertising traffic. Uh, it's under audience. Okay, let me pull this back up and share this tab because it is, it's really, really good information. Uh, let me stop sharing screen, share again. Chrome tab. Netflix. Okay, let me pull this over here so I can see us as well. All right, so you guys can see that. So if you look at this purple here, all these little purple slashes, by the way, this is under YouTube Studio Analytics Audience is the tab that you wanna to go to. And if you look Sundays, if I post one at 8 a, from 8 a.m. Is, is where it starts to, people start to wake up, 9 a.m. is better, but 10 a.m. is that dark purple. So I want to drop that video at 10 a.m. on a Sunday if I'm going to drop a video on Sunday. But if I go over to Monday, it doesn't get dark purple until 3 p.m. Uh -huh. So utilize this graph to when you need to drop your video. And you'll notice it. some people, like you'll get three or four in a minute because they all drop at 3 o'clock or they all drop at 5 o'clock or yep. you'll, you'll start seeing that. That's how they're getting that information. Yeah, so I'll tell you, I'm looking at mine here. Um, and I typically will drop all of my videos at 7 p.m. Like, yeah, not the shorts, but all of our videos drop at 7. Um, every day, 7 p.m., very many of your viewers are on YouTube. It, every day at 7. Like, my, mine is from 6 to 9 p.m. is when everybody on my stuff is on uh, YouTube. And so it, it's kind of one of those things, like Brian knows this, if you only have white Toyota Camrys, your number one selling car is going to be a white Toyota Camry. Right. You know, so like if you're only selling at 7 p.m. at night, in my case, is that why all your videos do at 7? Or mine, you know what I mean? Yep. Yeah, well, I want people get used to your, I mean, especially if you have that that thing is dark purple and uh, yep. they get used to the time in which you're, which you're putting them up. Yep. So I wanted to talk about CPM. Well, once you get monetized, you get CPM. It's basically uh, cost per view. So your CPM is going to, basically what that is, is per 1,000 views. Um, people use ad blockers and certain mobile browsers that, that bypass it. So they watch your channel without any advertising. So you only, at the most, you only get 60% of your views are monetized. So that is some, some information that I was able to pull. Wow. From. So it's, yeah, I mean, it, it's even harder of a struggle than, than what uh, some people realize, but that's what uh, makes up your views. But now you, like if, if they're in a membership or a, the, I don't remember what YouTube calls it, but where they pay to not see ads, you get a small portion of that money. Yeah. Yeah. The, uh, it's just not that. what, it's not what you read or something. Yeah. Yeah, the paid version of YouTube. Yep. 
Well, and there's there's some a couple other apps you can get too that that block those things. Not that anybody needs to get those. Don't get those. But yeah. <laughs> uh, there are also some called a the Google Preferred Program. If you ever hear anybody say that, what that is, that's the top five percent most viewed channels, and that's where you have your big dogs like Nike and all these big dog companies that that those are the people that they go to to place their ads. Yeah. So it's called a Google Preferred Program. Yeah, one day when we're on that thing. Yeah, hopefully we'll get there. Uh, a couple other things here real quick. I know we're getting ready to wrap up. I usually want to keep these around 30 minutes so we all uh, have time to do stuff here. Um, say your title out loud in your video. So when you intro your video, hey, today we're going to and use that and say it probably two times throughout your video. It's kind of hard to get into memory. I've not done this yet, but this is definitely a tip that uh, was given to me that that works because it helps the uh, Google ranking. So when somebody searches a term, believe it or not, it actually looks through your video at hyperspeed and takes the words you said to see if it matches it. That's oh, how wow. advanced this analytics is. And All then, right. Um, so let, let me, let's stay on that a second. So um, the last few videos, probably the last 20 videos I've done, um, I've gone like as I'm editing it, I'll go back and do my intro. So a lot of times people will see me in different clothing than when I'm actually in the shot or in the video because I've gone back and I'm like, hey, you know, this is Mike and our subject, blah, 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 we're going to do this. And, and that's really the, the reasoning behind that is because, not because of the title, but because half the time I'm recording over like three or four days. So if I do the intro, then I've, you know, it's hard for me to stay on task with as much stuff as we have going on in the shop. So. No, that, that's a really good point too. But it's, uh, yeah, even if when you make your new one, if you can think of what you're mm -hmm. going to call it prior to you making yeah. that intro, you can add it in there. Yep. And then um, session so, time is, oops, sorry, go ahead. Well, so that's what I was saying. Like, you know, don't don't even worry about your your intro until maybe after the video is shot and you're editing it, and then go back in and do your intro. Yes, yeah, I've I've done that a couple times as well. Um, the other one they had was session time tips, uh, keeping people on your page. Uh, one thing that I want to try that I've not done yet. It says uh, to try and add a clip of your a popular video that you have upcoming, or if it's the next one in the series and you have it preloaded. Put that at the end of your video saying, if you like this one, check out this one and have a little clip of it playing. Mm. You can overlay it in your, in your video at the end, have a little clip of it playing so they get a preview of what they want to go see next, which I thought was pretty cool. I don't know if it works, but hey, let's go give that thing a try and see if we can uh, bear fruit. That's why this is called Brainstorm Sessions. We'll, yeah. you know, we'll try anything and see what happens with it. Yeah, I like that. That's cool. Uh, the last hey, thing I, do I have, have one. Go ahead. Go ahead. No, I was I was going to jump back to something on your unaware street racing league. Um, why don't you start launching on people when they're not yeah, looking? Yes, camera towards yes. the car. You honk three times and go. That's what <laughs> we want to see. I know that's what you want to see, but I like my license. <laughs> <laughs> if I if I hit the gas, my car doesn't go. It smokes the tires, and there's lots of noise and. Hubble, <laughs> I could ease. I guess I could ease on it. It still look, would look like I'm launching. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's a good idea. <laughs> that's now, the other one I wanted to give to everybody, and this is something, Brian. I'd love to see if you could get in on this uh, as early as you are in your YouTube career. Um, Amazon Associates. Have any of have you guys looked at that at all? Uh, so we did that, and I will do it again. It, we didn't make any money on it because it would all. It was at the very end of every video, and I never said anything really about it. And I would just put the link down in the uh, thing below. But there's people making money at it. Well, and that's another thing where you strategically have to put it into your videos. If you yeah. know you're using a tripod or a camera or whatever, mm -hmm. uh, go sign up for Amazon Associates. You don't have to be monetized to use it. So if you want to start making money before you're monetized, if you learn, there's tons of videos on how to use it. But Amazon Associates is real fast, real easy. I did it in about 10 minutes. And it gives you links that you add down in your description below. All you got to do is, is once again, call to action. Say, hey, guys, if you like this you know, tripod I used or how I got this angle, here's what I used. Mm -hmm. All down on the link. 
Yeah. Yeah. That, like it's it's an affiliate program. So like if they okay. use your link to go into Amazon and buy stuff, then you get a portion of that money. Yep. Oh, that's cool. Yep. Well, cool. Do you guys have anything else you want to share with everybody? Uh, my goal for the year is 5,000 subscribers. So to do that, I'm going to hammer people. So good luck, Instagram. <laughs> Coming for yeah. you. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to see if I can pump up my numbers without getting booted this week. Setting at 240. Um, one of my big shows, truck shows of the year, is uh, in about three weeks. So I, I really need... I really need to hit 500 with that show, um, yeah. you know, so that I can be on track to get to my thousand somewhere in summer. But it's going to take a lot of grinding. Um, so that's that's where I am. Back to the grind. Yep. Yeah, yeah, I'm just I'm pushing to get to 2,000 by the end of February. So yeah, I, I am interested to see, uh, Brian, if you take if you dig deeper, like and not. Uh, mass for this next round, like what that does, because I really think you're probably on like a probation. And so <laughs> I'd be concerned yep. with going in and follow 500 people in the next two days, you know, like you may need to grow slowly. Well, you know what, maybe I'll, I'll just hit uh, instead new people. I'll go back through all the people that are following me and I'll take a yep. chunk of that based yep. on, uh, C10 stuff since it's going to be C10 for the rest of the month. If all else fails and they ban me, I'll start a new channel and it'll be you know White yep. Seed Tuesday. <laughs> it'll just be it'll be Brian at Black Seed Originals. It'll be Brian, <laughs> Brian <Yeah>. Seed Originals. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Follow my backup account. <laughs> yeah, to, hey, I'm telling you, that's probably why a lot of people have that. So, so I'm interested to see that next week. Um, I I really am going to dig in uh, hard on the. Instagram, and then I would like to start maybe figuring out some algorithm or a process for Facebook too. So I, I just, I don't know. Facebook has never been very kind to us. I, I don't seem to grow very well there. I, you know, you post a link to a, to a YouTube video and it just kills any kind of reach. So yeah. I, I'd, I'd like to see if maybe like Brian got a message out of the blue the other day from a, a Facebook follower. So. Oh, did he? Yeah. Yep. So, anyways, well, we got to go. You got your, uh, you got your big time. Hey, big live feed. Wish me luck, man. Wish me luck. I appreciate you guys. We'll see you next week. All right, dude. See Good you. Luck. All right. See ya. <sighs>